and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Trevor Storm leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. About to get started here. And pitching in this game, Ranger Suarez. What do you got on him, Chris? Very dominant his last time out. Picked up the win. Only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. So just about set. Here's the rookie third baseman, Andy Abanya. Leading off tonight for Texas, the third baseman, Andy Abanya. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, and that's how this series begins. Three. Next offering is downstairs. Well, second pitch of this game and already getting squeezed a little bit. And he deals. That one off the mark. And it's two and one. Hard hit left side. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time. He's got a double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Here's Nick Solak. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And now the lefty. Aye. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Stays alive. Next pitch just misses. Now two and two. Man at second. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Now the throw to first on the run. One out in the top of the first. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing your, on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two strikes, I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs. Corey Seager stands in here, leaves that one down.
Softly hit to third. Bryant throw to first in time. And Seeger is set down. Batting four. The second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Now it's Marcus Simeon. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Whoa, First right pitch there. doesn't find the zone. Ibanez stands at second with two gone. The 1-1. One, one. They say it went. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So to a boarded two out, scoreless game. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. First and second, two down. Next pitch is outside, and it's a ball to strike. And the count one and two. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Runner around third. Throw home. He beats it. And it's one nothing. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Just kept it simple. Blake Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. So two on, but two away. Willie Calhoun stands in here. Yeah, the first Whoa. offering is not close. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The lefty to 1 0. -oh. That misses the zone. And the count is 2 0. -oh. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Two on, two outs. That's in there. Two balls and a strike. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. <laughs> Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch is inside, and the count's full. Left-hand hitter waits, and they're all loaded up. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Two outs, bases full, and now the center field, Adolis Garcia. And boom, I'd say he's due. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. 
Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. The pitch. And now the count is even. Swing and a miss. One and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Born in the home of the Dodgers, D. Strawberry was the man as a toddler from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, look, Holmes, I'm from the era where that new era you wearing that with. Bottom of the first, and now the DH, Kyle Schwarber. Leading up for the Phillies, the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. The wind to kick the pitch. And another ball. And a pitch. Foul ball there. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Ball the next pitch three. misses. And a count is three and a one. Three and one. offering his foul back. Three two down. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That one back there and brings it in at the wall. Hey, time now for the Phillies lineup. Their opponent on the mound today does run into some trouble finding the strike zone in time. So, Singy, I got to figure part of the plan, be patient, be selective today. Yeah, you know coming in, regardless of, you know, what that first inning is going to look like, you know his history. You don't want to help him out. You've got to be patient and make sure that when you attack, that it's a pitch that you can do some damage with. Otherwise, just build up some traffic on the base pass, push across some easy runs, and perhaps get into some of those gap arms in the bullpen. JT Real Muto takes one off the outside here. Nope, Next pitch is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Offering his foul back. Bounced up the middle. Seeger collects. Whips it to first on the run. Barely got it for the out. Close play. That is good. The right field. Now, here is Harper. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. That's through there for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie That's like that. Two. Next offering misses, two and one. one. Come on, 
Is Harper the count two and one? That misses the zone, and that's ball three. And the righty deals. Hard hit, left field, base hit. It's not Batting often court. someone hits a baseball this fielder. hard. Brandon. It's worthy of a stack cast Jordan. treatment singing. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be, and wow, 116 miles per hour. Stat cast absolutely lives for these moments. You know, it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly. Brandon Jordan in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And a pitch. There's a strike. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball. Howard throw over. Harper's back at a dive. The 2-1 that one down the line and that's a fair ball Harper coming home and he's safe great effort but it's a tie ball game a couple of hits in a row for him here just a simple ground ball the other way but had eyes on it and sometimes that's all you need to do just let the ball travel put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole here's Trevor Story now that is good. Not First pitch, Not and he just misses. Glory. And the 1 0. That's down and in. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Next offering clips the zone. Count even at two. Two two now. Now one miss. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job of damage control right there. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scoring triple. All even at one apiece. Top of the second. Here's Cole Calhoun. Leading off for Texas. The right fielder. Cole Calhoun. Suarez. Back to work. That's a ball. That misses the zone. And that's ball one. one -oh. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great go. results lately. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Foul ball. Let's go. 
next one is off the plate. And now it's even one and one. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. And a 1 1. That's in, ball two. Not close with that one, and that's ball three. Rudder at first with no outs here. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Takes it to the bag, that's one. And they get it easily at first, it's a double play. Now that's So the Rangers batting order turns over. Next up for Texas, Andy Abanez. Let off this game with a double. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And the pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. Tied up here in the early going. This one to Bryant. Fires over to Hoskins. Out number three. We go to the bottom of the second. Tied at one. Back at Citizens Bank Park. We head to the bottom of the second. And digging in for Philadelphia. For Nick Billy. Castellanos. The left fielder. Nick. Okay, no, no. The right hander back to work. Yeah. That pitch in for a strike. That's strike one. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Righty delivers. And he grounds one back up the middle, and that one finds its way through. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch of that way. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. I mean, it's just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielder with how hard he hit it. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And that's in there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. And now one and, one and two. two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Castellanos gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And 
a swing and a miss. One gone here. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, Batman. it's just become a such baseball. a problem for hitters Red. in more recent years. Oh, With all yeah. of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. pitch fought off foul no, next offering down. is down low Here's a one two. That's a ball. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a two two count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. At the belt and fires. Three two now. Three, two. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after Batting giving up the leadoff single. The second back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Gene Segura, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. And it's fouled away. one line to left and a base hit right there they stopped the lead runner at second now two on with two outs well the last now 10 back. games or so have been anything but fun at the Not plate for him so that one has to be nice line drive to the full side headed it out front but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the opposite so the lineup flips over Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here Up the middle, he dives, but he can't make the catch. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. So two down, and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And that one is lifted in the air. Garcia on the move, racing to his left. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Phillies leave him loaded. Score remains tied, 1-1. Here, Citizens Bank Park, all set for the start of the inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Nick Solak. Nick Solak. Suarez, back to work. That's a strike. Strike one. They say you win. Oh, two is the count. Kicks and deals. Three. Got him. And one gone. 
Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So now it's Corey Seager. In there, and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. one that's oh, inside at one and one and he deals next yeah, offering is outside And that one missing low. One down, base is empty. Hard hit down the line and left. And foul ball. And now the lefty. Here's a high chopper. Throw to first is in time. And Seeger is set down. Now that is second base. Marcus Simeon. Two outs, base is empty. Here is Marcus Simeon. First off ring misses the mark. And here it comes. In there. And so now one and two. Kelly left that change up off. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Two outs. And it's swing to miss, and that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Bottom of the inning, here's Harper in that. Leading up for the Phillies, the right fielder, Ryan Harper. And a pitch. Nope. Ball one low. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Next offering is way upstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. Well, in this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Low handles the chance. Low takes it himself. And a quick out, number one. The center fielder, number 25. Brandon Jordan. And stepping in is the speedy Brandon Jordan. Hit weakly on the ground. Over to low. 
And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. To third, and it goes just foul. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Next offering is fouled back. Nope. Next one just misses. It's two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's out number three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here in Philadelphia, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Leading off for Texas. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The pitch. And there's the strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of them. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Oh, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there's one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page now right that now. Designated hitter, really Calhoun. Now it's the DH, Willie Calhoun. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that one hit to first. Hoskins takes it to the bag. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Good oh, offside run and sink on that pitch right there. Field. Got inside on it Adoles. and got him to bounce into that out. Garcia. Adolis Garcia digs in now. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Next offering is down low, and it's 1-0. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one right. free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. And a pitch. Stays alive. Oh, 
Ball struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And the Rangers set down in order. Still tied, 1-1. Ready to go, bottom four. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. The Philly, the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. The right-hander back to work. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. the pitch one. and takes low for ball one one and one ball the two. next offering misses two and one swings and lines a base hit into left field So Singy, let's the dive into bases, the numbers, number courtesy 17. of StatCast. Three. Do you even feel contact oh, being made yeah. when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, Whoa, but yeah. this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Castellanos aboard here at first with nobody out. Well, Next two. offering is downstairs. Probably looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two zero. -oh. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. <laughs> His sixth home run of the season, and they add a couple more. It's 3 1. In a 2 0 count, a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he can handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. Here's Chris Bryant now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Up next for Philadelphia, the third baseman. Pitch misses inside, really? and that's ball one. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The wind and the pitch. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The wide to kick the pitch. That's off the mark, and that's ball two. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Colby Aller getting loose out there. And the righty deals. Ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now, now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Gene Segura at the plate here. Up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner to second. It's a two on and nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice that. job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try oh, to do yeah. too much with the pitch. Just shot oh, it through oh. the infield. So the Philly batting order turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. 
Squirts away a little bit. First and second here, no outs. In the air, out towards left center. Sola puts it away. Runner tagging for third. In there safely. The batter, the catcher. And now it is JT Real Muto. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. And he's at full one. speed. And the pitch. Ball. That one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. two. Ball. No two on, one out. Popped up first base side. Simeon drifts towards it. Makes the grab, two down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, now he is going to be right frustrated field. with himself until One. his next at bat. Colby Allard gets Ladies the ball and now, and he'll do his best please. to keep this close. Now, well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about Never middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bryce Harper will hit next. One for two. Not the easiest hey. thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next offering is foul back. Bryant on third. Segura at first. Two out of the inning. Swing and a miss. And that is that. But the Phils get two on this blast. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Cole Calhoun. The right fielder, Cole Calhoun. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Zach Eflin up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Falter, a left-hander, also throwing. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Ball one. And ball one. Even up. Two and two. Bounce back to the mound. Fires over to Hoskins, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The catcher, number 28, Jonah And now the catcher comes up to him, Jonah Hyde. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. 
in there for strike one. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Next one misses, and a count even one and one. Ball to strike. Ground ball up the middle. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Andy Abanez now at the plate. One's in there, 0 and 1. Yo, one. Ball one there. One ball, one strike. Here comes a pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Segura throw to first. Rangers go down in order. Enough to do it for the Rangers. Score holds. It's 3-1. Back here in Philadelphia, stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Jordan. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Zips it across, one up, one down. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Story. Here's Trevor Story. That one handled. Tosses to first, and Story is out. The left field, number four. Tough day, no, no. Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. Aye. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a pop-up. Simeon makes the catch, and that'll do it. Down quickly, go the Phillies. They still lead it 3-1. Bullpen for the Phillies, Zach Kepler. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Kepler. Back at Citizens Bank Park, top of the sixth inning. Stepping in, Nick Solak. The left fielder, Nick Solak. And a pitch. First offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sam Coonrock preparing to come on if needed. Brogdon getting cranked up as well. Next offering in the dirt, and a count two and one. Two one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead, they could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Now he breaks his back. Real Muto to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey Seager.
And here's Corey Seeker to hit. First offering and it just misses. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Next pitch is outside. Next pitch is downstairs. Right-handed reliever. And a four-pitch walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. First offering misses badly for ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Seeger at first, one gone. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball. Righty delivers. Double play ball to second. Off balance speed. There's one out there, but that's all they'll get. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And now, Nathaniel Lowe. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is down low. Left-hand hitter waits. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. The two one. And that one wraps foul. Swing and a ground ball out to short onto Segura, and that is that. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Phillies three and the Rangers one. Welcome back, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Leading off for the Phillies, the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Back to work. Pitch is in for a strike. Strike one. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. That one not close, and it's two and one. Rip towards third. Over to low. One up, one down. Now batting. Third baseman. Chris Bryant. Down the third baseman. Chris Bryant. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 
Count one and oh. And fouled off. Center field, Garcia on his way over, makes a nice running catch. And there are two outs. The batter, number two, second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Gene Segura, the next to hit. First offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Get a count, one and two. Bounce to third. Devonez picks it up. Zips it to first. That's the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, and the score stays three to one. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven, and now the DH, Willie Calhoun. The designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. And he deals. And misses inside. And the 1-0. That misses the zone. Ball two. Next offering is in the dirt. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Right into the play. And that's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The go. game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Garcia. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. there and it's on one good approach right there you want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate stay out of that double play kicks and fires swings through that one for strike two knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone right there swinging at that pitch that's a no-no Offering misses one and two to count. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. In the dirt. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. I mean, there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so... That's flexing your muscles a little bit. To the pitcher covering, it's thrown away. The catcher, number 28. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there.
So the error puts runners at the corners. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Fouled off. He was late. And here it comes. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Left field, Castellanos settles underneath it, squeezes it, runner tags from third. A big run scores on the sack fly. And this game is tied in the seventh. Well, we got ourselves a new now ball game. Nice job the right there at the plate. Sacrifice and fly, and he gets in the tying run. run. Right here, reliever out of the pen, Sam Kunra. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Here's the third baseman, Andy Abanya. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Swings through that one. 0-1. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. And now the 1 Misses oh, off the down. play. And the count is 1-1. One, one away. Tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Next pitch misses inside. And it's two and one. on the ground might be two there to beat him by an eyelash well there's a lot riding on that at bat right there nice job of the pitcher to bear down make the pitch get now the ground ball Let's excellent go. piece of work Nick Solak stepping in for the Rangers and he just misses. The one -oh. There's a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. But if you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. One, two now. Rolled over to third. Bryant throw to first in time. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Seventh yeah, inning stretch time. All tied up with three apiece. Now on the bump, Brett Martin. Attention, please. Now pitching for the Rangers. Number 59. Brett Martin. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Now it's the DH. Kyle Schwarber. For the Phillies. The designated hitter. Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next pitch is inside. One ball, one strike. And it is two and one. There's a line drive to left field. Sola racing over to make the catch. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on as that go ahead run. Just wasn't able to find a hole. Real and Muto. digging in for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. 
known for his rocket arm behind the plate. They say it went. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. Throw off line. He is safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting yeah, away. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Oh, pretty oh. routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. So the throwing error puts the runner at first. Here's Bryce Harper. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And another ball. Nope. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunt for his pitch. Two up. Swing and a tap for the goals foul. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run. Stands at first. Two two now. And it's ball four. This down low. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Now it's the power swing combo. Brandon Jordan. We talked about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Pitch. Double steal. Pitch way inside to third. And got it. Next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. That's ripped into the outfield. Sola brings it in, and that's the inning. Philly strand one. Score remains tied at three. Right now, right down, write your feelings out. I'm on a small out. Put my words and stay Find out why my people are crying out. Reach out with him. Connor Brock on the pitch here. He's been so good against lefties. Number 75. Connor. Back Walker. here in Philadelphia. Here's the shortstop at the play. Corey Seager. Leading off the test. The shortstop. Corey Seager. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. One one down. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. The one two. Pitch misses there. And the count's even at two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. The off fan is out here in the eighth. And next will be the cleanup hit. Marcus Simeon. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. One's in there, 0-1. 
well. We call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next one off the plate inside. One and one. Right on the ground to first. Sneaks through, base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his Next hands. Race nice race. job of going the other way. The first baseman, Nathaniel Low. So next to hit for Texas, Nathaniel Low. In there for strike one. one pitches outside ball one Simeon stands at first with one out Simeon runs that's it for a strike the throw won't get there in time and they can't get the out well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. And it's second. And that one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Just off the inside edge. That's a really good take. Slow roller to first. And he handles it himself for the out. The battle. The Next, it'll be the Texas DH, Willie Calhoun. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, go ahead run, it's scoring position. And that one ripped to left. Can't get there, base hit. The run scores from third, it's 4-3. Picks himself up at RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. First pitch, just misses. And a 1 0. That one misses. 2 and 0. Oh. base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now batter. White Fielder. Cole Calhoun. First and second. Two down. Cole Calhoun digs in down. First offering. Misses the mark. Looking for some insurance. 
or as our friends down in the south would say insurance no matter how you say it we know what you mean two outs and a foul ball guys seen two change-ups in a row to be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. The one-two. And that is that. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rangers four and the Phillies three. Yeah. Who that in the whip? Yeah, you know this me. So they turn things please. over to the righty, now Joe Barlow. He's pitching on two Number days rest. Joe Barlow. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. The batter will be the shortstop, go. Trevor Story. The shortstop, Trevor Story. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. John King up and loosening in the pen. Sports warming up as well. The tying run at the plate. Swings through that one. chase that time. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Out to short. Seeger picks it up. Tosses to first. And that is a big first out. The left field. Number four. Nick. No, no. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And the first okay, pitch misses for ball one. One down, Phillies down a run. Come back to the mound. Over to low, and Castellanos is out. The first baseman, number 17, Reed Hoskins. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. He's already home to this game. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. The one one fastball in for a strike one and two no no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth it's looking rock solid so far. So now one and two to Reese and a foul ball he stays alive. Belt and fires. And now it's even up. And the righty deals. That misses. And it counts full. The 
pitch. On the ground, out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw. He's in safely, and now there's a runner at first. Now batter. The third baseman, Chris Ryan. So a change being made at first base. Coming in as the pitch runner, Simone Muziati. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Call it pretty good speed over there at first base. Hitting the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base deal. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Barlow checks on first. Luciano back in on a dive. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Next offering way off the plate. Luciato leads off first with two down to the inning. Check on the runner, and he's back in on a dive. And a pitch. That one missing inside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The 3 1. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. Play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on the shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I took a bat. And that one sliced foul. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Yeah, Boogie, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Two on, two outs. This one in the dirt. pitch. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And that is that. Phillies leave a couple. Still down a run. It's 4-3. Pitcher on now, Yoan Lopez. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Alec Bull getting loose there. He's now in the game at first. Number 28, Alec. New inning getting started. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. Leading off for the Rangers, the catcher, number 28, Jonah. And he deals. Trying to get him to chase on the changeup that time. 
If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. Let's see if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. And a pitch. Off the mark there. And now three and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Andy Abanya stepping in for the Rangers. Ibanya. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jose Alvarado, the left hand, up and throwing. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a 1 1. That one fouled off. A 1 2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one away. Now the number two hitter, Nick Solak. Nick Solak. in there for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch is in the dirt. And a count one and two. One and two here. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. In time, got him, and that'll do it. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Rangers four and the Phillies three. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, John King. This is his fifth appearance of the year. John King. Welcome back. Last chance for the home team. Now at the plate, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. Billy, the designated hitter. Kyle. The big lefty turns, kicks Whoa. deep. That one outside. Ball gone. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. The wind of the pitch. In the dirt, two and one. Next pitch misses way outside. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. JT Real Mutual steps in. The catcher. This is what stats like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically.
And a sack bunt here. Low. Fired to second. And they'll just get the one. The right field. Number three. One. Harper. Bryce Harper getting ready to hit. Known for his late inning heroics. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. In there, and it's on one. Well, I say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one, to get ahead on a good hitter as well. There's a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. Move first. Real yeah. Muto back in there. And now the lefty, strike two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Sola settles under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two away now. The center fielder, number 25. Brandon. Big spot here, Jordan. bottom of the ninth. Down to their final out. And now, Brandon Jordan. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. In there for strike one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. One is lifted in the air. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Real Muto headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Trevor Story. Stands in for the Phillies. Now batting. Good stop. Trevor. That first offering is fouled off. Tied at four. Just a slow ground ball this time. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. New arm out of the bullpen. Spencer Pat. Now for Number 51. Spencer Pat. So two outs with runners on the corners. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. now. Left fielder, Nick Castellanos. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. And that ends the frame. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the chain. Back here in Philadelphia, stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Corey Seager. The shortstop, Corey Seager. Lopez, back to work. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Oh, one down. A one pushed foul. 
Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next offering is downstairs. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jose Alvarado, southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Dominguez, the right-hander, also getting loose. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a chopper. In time to bowl. And they get the leadoff man in the 10th. The batter on the field. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Don't get ahead in the count. You can forget about having any success against him. And that's in there for strike one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Side, and it's a ball and a strike. Sola stands at third with one gone in the inning. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Next one misses, three and one. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Righty delivers. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Now, yeah. now it's going to be Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The 1 Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Got it! Now two out. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. That was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And next is the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Boom, collects it. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Rangers lead the pair. This game's all tied at four. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and now it's Alec Bowl. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off. Right the first baseman. Alec Bowl. Alec Bowl. The pitch. Good eye right there. Movement in the bullpen. Josh Spores getting ready to go. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The winning run on second base. 
That one misses. Two and one. Next offering clips the zone. Count even at two. to right and that's a foul ball here comes a pitch on the ground right side base hit Castellanos rounds third headed for the plate in comes the winning run and the Phillies walk it off in extra innings You know, you had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across the score. Everyone got a crazy, exciting finish to this game today. Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shum. We'll see you soon. Everybody eating, you can ask the team fast and mean. Stickers bumping tag.